Hey everyone, Jessica Basie here. In today's video, we're going to be doing some detail shots, uh, interior designs, and basically just how to photograph uh, a setup as you would if you were at a wedding or an engagement or something like that. Um, we have our set designer uh, and florist, Jinan. From Yasmina's Floral. <laughs> yeah, from Yasmina's Floral in Dearborn. Can you explain to us the theme? And um, I'm not good at designing, so it's all you. <laughs> Well, um, we basically don't have the beach setting and uh, the sun and we don't. this design in Michigan, so I figured I'll bring it here. And um, it's a beachy theme, and we set it up for, this is a sweetheart table for the bride and groom, and we have flowers from peonies to ranunculus, hydrangeas, uh, Queen Anne's lace, cymbidium orchids. Um, we have the place settings for the bride and groom, their chairs, I mean, this is very vintage, it's very rustic, but it's very classy and elegant as well. I'm going to be showing you exactly, if this were an event, an actual event, how I would photograph it. Like for this setting especially, I think for the chairs, like to get the details this of the stuff. chairs, this is so pretty. A lot of people don't get this stuff. They'll get a wide shot and then that's it. Yeah, and you don't get the little details and that's really, it's all about the details. Okay, so uh, first things first, I have to tell you guys that there is a natural window here behind us. Um, which will affect how your pictures come out. In most cases, um, if you're shooting indoors for an event, you're not going to have this. We got really lucky that the window is facing uh, the right way so that there's natural light here. But in the event that you are doing an event and there's uh, no, window, uh, no, no windows or dim lighting, I would use a flash. I usually use a flash, but if you're doing something outdoors, then you can just use natural light. That's what I would recommend. I'm going to go ahead, I'm using my 35mm and then my 5D uh, Mark II body. Now the reason why I'm using this 35 is because it is a little wider and I can get more of the de details in here. Um, normally I would do the detail shots with a macro lens or the 50, but I'm going to try to do everything with the 35 today. Just to show you how versatile it is, it is one of my favorite lenses for events. Usually I would do a, f a wide shot first and then go into the details. Um, so I would get a shot of everything, then I would get a closer shot of the table and the chairs, um, the top of the table, and then I would go in details. And you can also level yourself to, you know, where the table is starting, you can kind of bend down a little. Just for like a different angle, if you want a different angle. And then I would kind of go halfway through and then get some of the table. such things as the top of this table definitely I'll have to get a little closer and then get this whole portion of the table and I'll probably get the chairs afterwards and I would kind of get like an aerial view if you want to do something like you know how like the hipsters they do a shot like an aerial shot well it's a little hard to do if you don't have like a step ladder but what I would do is I would push um, the video button on your camera and then kind of look at the little screen and then kind of sharpen and focus from here. If you were if you're taller, if you're an NBA basketball player, it'd probably be easier for you. And again I just you can avoid all this by just having step ladder because I don't have one right now. Unless you have one, Gina. Yeah, we got one. Really? Okay, yeah. girl, bring it up. I was going to say, I feel like Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you have access to a step ladder, I would bring one out. If you don't, um, use that technique where I tell you where you're just pulling your camera um, over your head and then focusing with either manual focus or just holding a focus point. If you do have a step ladder, it's a lot easier to get detail shots or really cool angles. So shots that I would take um, angling down, or you can take one an aerial view, like an aerial view shot. So I'm getting really nice aerial shots, and just don't fall and kill yourself. What would happen if I fell into the table? Now I would always, you can like set your camera down and then take the photo. 
which gives it like a nice effect. But really just take pictures of everything, honestly. And also, take more than one picture because I know a lot of photographers who take one picture and then they're done. And for this chair detail, I would actually get a vertical photo of just this section right here. And of course this bouquet, you're going to want to get detailed shots of this. So what I would do is take a step back and get the whole thing horizontally and then go in and get detail shots. So now we're introducing a model to the set. 